Now let's explore the prerequisites for climbing the ladder of success in a political establishment like Congress. Strong local leadership? Nah, that's too mainstream. Popularity among sections of society? Overrated. In Congress, all you need is a babbling tongue and an absolute contempt for India and her culture. Move our qualifications and competence. Here comes the reign of speeches that can put a lullaby to shame. Namaste, this is Anmesh Pandey from TFI Post and oh, the wonderful world of Indian politics. Where ethics gracefully takes a back seat and qualifications dance their way into oblivion. In this chaotic symphony, the Congress party never fails to surprise us with its peculiar choices and endless drama. Enter Kanaiya Kumar, the latest protagonist in this political circus. With him as the president of National Students Union of India, it seems like Congress is ready to pack its bag and bid adieu to politics. Now we must acknowledge the power of Rahul Gandhi's words in the Congress Kingdom. Whatever he says becomes the ultimate law, ruling over even the common sense of qualifications and cadre level engagement. It's as if the party motto is, in Rahul we trust and all else is dust. Ah, Kanaiya Kumar. A name that invokes memories of the infamous Bharat Tere Tukde Hunge episode of 2016? Yeah. Back then, he was the president of the JNU Students Union that led this operation. And let's just say his words caused quite a stir. The nation stood divided with most condemning his statements and some even arguing for this guy's freedom of expression. Amidst the controversy, Rahul Gandhi, like a knight in shining armor, swooped in to rescue Kanahiya and his ilk. Championing the cause of freedom of speech and expression and what better way to express this freedom than inducting Kanhaiya into the Congress party itself. Hooray for that. Now let's explore the prerequisites for climbing the ladder of success in a political establishment like Congress. Strong local leadership? Nah, that's too mainstream. Popularity among sections of society? Overrated. In Congress, all you need is a babbling tongue and an absolute contempt for India and her culture. Move our qualifications and competence. Here comes the reign of speeches that can put a lullaby to shame. But wait, there's more. When the party supremo himself questions the very concept of Bharat, the land we hold dear, it shouldn't come as a surprise that Congress is spiraling towards oblivion. Perhaps they're aiming for a Guinea's world record in self-destruction. You go Congress, aim for the stars or in this case, aim for irrelevance. As the dust settles and the stage is set, we find ourselves witnessing the grand spectacle of Kanahiya Kumar leading the National Students Union of India. It's like watching a tightrope walker on a unicycle performing daring acrobatics while balancing the weight of Congress reputation. Oh, what a sight to behold. One can't help but wonder what criteria does the Congress party follow when selecting the leaders? Do they have a checklist that includes speeches filled with absolute nonsense and lacking substance? Or perhaps they value a knack for stirring controversy over actual accomplishments? The mind boggles at these possibilities. With Kanaya Kumar's appointment, one can't help but question the future of Congress. Will they continue down this path? prioritizing theatrics over sound governance or will they realize the need for change and introspection and strive to reconnect with the people they claim to represent? The truth seems unlikely.